the Fanville V64. In this video, we will go over the device features and some commonly used functionality to get you up to speed with your new phone. When you first set up your phone, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the hardware and button locations. On the left is your handset, and at the right of the device is your display screen. Below the display screen is the keypad. Surrounding the keypad, you will see some additional buttons for quick access to different features of the device, such as your navigational circle, headset and speakerphone buttons, and physical mute, redial, and voicemail buttons. To the left of the keypad are physical volume control buttons. Using these buttons while the device is idle will adjust the ring volume. Using these buttons while on a call will adjust the volume for the medium you are using via handset, headset, or speakerphone. The display screen is your main source of information from the device. When the device is idle, you will see the time and date, your line key and soft key options, as well as feature notifications like voicemail or do not disturb. The buttons to the left and right of the screen are your line keys. These keys can be configured to add additional lines to use with your main extension and assign busy lamp field or remote line keys for other extensions. The buttons below the screen are your soft keys. These buttons will change depending on the current activity of the phone. When idle, you have direct access to functions like call history, your phone directory, or toggling do not disturb. While it's generally recommended to connect VoIP devices directly to the network with an Ethernet cable, this device has a built-in Wi-Fi adapter that can easily connect to your current wireless network. You can access the Wi-Fi settings by pressing the menu soft key and then navigating to basic, then WLAN. First, enable the Wi-Fi adapter to access additional options. Once the Wi-Fi adapter is enabled, you can scan for local wireless networks and display them in the available networks field. Simply select and link your wireless network, enter your network password, and press the OK button. Once online, a green checkmark will appear next to your network and you will now see the Wi-Fi signal indicator on the idle display. If you have a Bluetooth headset, you can easily pair the device to your Fanville V64 using the built-in Bluetooth adapter. Press the menu soft key and then navigate to basic, then Bluetooth. Use the navigational circle to enable Bluetooth. Press the Scan soft key to search for any local Bluetooth devices currently broadcasting to pair. Once your device is displayed, simply select the device on the screen and press the Link soft key. After a few seconds, the device will pair with the Fanville phone and the confirmation will display next to the device listing. On the idle screen, you will now see the Bluetooth icon displayed in the top left of the screen. To dial an outbound call, enter a phone number from the dial pad. Pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start your call on your preferred medium. Call information, such as the dialed number and call duration, will be visible on the screen and you will have access to additional soft key options while on the active call. While on a call, you can simply press the second line key alias to automatically place the current call on hold and provide a dial tone to dial a new number. To answer an incoming call, simply pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start your call on your preferred medium. Call information such as the caller ID and call duration will be visible on the screen, as well as additional soft key options for your active call. To answer call waiting, simply press the blinking line key. This will automatically place the first caller on hold and answer the new call. You can return to the first caller by pressing the originating line key. While on a call, you can place a caller on hold by pressing the hold soft key. To pick the call back up, press the line key where the call is being held, indicated by the blinking LED, or press the resume soft key on the screen. A warm or attended transfer allows you to consult with the party to which you are sending the call to before completing the transfer. At the bottom of the screen, press the transfer soft key. This will place the caller on hold. Dial the number or extension you wish to transfer the call to and wait for the party to answer the call. After your deliberations, you can complete the transfer by pressing the transfer key again or simply hanging up your phone and the call will immediately be connected to your second party. 
A blind transfer allows you to immediately transfer a call to another number or extension. At the bottom of the screen, press the transfer soft key. Dial the number or extension you wish to transfer the call to, and press transfer again. The call will immediately start ringing to the second party. To create a conference call while on an active call, press the more soft key and then the conference soft key. The initial call will be placed on hold. Dial the new number or extension and wait for the new party to answer the call. Finally, press the conference button again to merge the two calls. You can use the additional soft key options to manage the conference call. Press the hold soft key to put the conference call on hold. Press the manage soft key to mute the other parties. Or press the more soft key twice and then the remove soft key to disconnect the parties individually. Press the more soft key and then the split soft key to split the callers from the conference and place both callers on separate holds. You can end the conference call by pressing the end soft key. If a caller needs to hold for a user that is not currently at their desk or is near a different device, you can easily park the call to allow them to pick up the call from any device on the account. Press the more soft key to access the second page of the soft key options. Press the soft key labeled park. Once you press the soft key, the call will immediately be placed on hold on a parked extension number and you'll hear an audible notification of where the call is parked. Call parked on extension 9980. Now any user can simply dial the extension number and the call will immediately be picked up and successfully transferred to the extension it was dialed from. Alternatively, if a monitor park line key is configured on the device, you will see the line key button lit with a red LED light indicating a call is being held on the park extension configured. Simply press the button to immediately pick up the call. If you need to move a call to a different device assigned to your user account, you can use the call flip feature to send the call back to your extension. Press the more soft key to access the second page of soft key options, then press the call flip soft key. The call will be placed on hold and is transferred back to your extension allowing you to answer it on a different device assigned to your user account. The Call Log soft key allows you to navigate your phone's call log. Use the navigational circle to navigate between your incoming, outgoing, missed, and forwarded calls. You can redial any number from the list by using the navigational circle to select the call and pressing the Dial soft key. You can also add a history call as a contact. Select the call with the navigational circle and select the Option soft key. Select Add to Contacts and press the OK soft key. Edit the name and add additional numbers and press the OK soft key. To access the directory, press the Contact soft key from the idle screen. You will see the entry listed in your directory. You can select the entry and press the Call button to dial up to the contact. You can also press the Add button and add additional contacts directly to the list. To turn on Do Not Disturb and send callers directly to voicemail, press the D&D &D soft key on the idle display screen. The Do Not Disturb icon will appear on the top of the screen. Press the button again to turn off Do Not Disturb. You can set call forwarding on your device at any time. Select the menu soft key, then navigate to Features, then Call Forward. If you have a remote line key enabled for another extension, you will have two additional forward settings for both lines. Select the line you wish to edit. You have three forwarding options. Unconditional will immediately forward all calls received to this extension to the number you have entered. Busy Forward will forward any calls that you reject to the number you entered. By default, this is set to your extension number, so it forwards the caller to your voicemail. No Answer will forward any calls you miss while idle or on a call to the number you entered after your specified ring time. By default, this is set to your extension, so it forwards a call to your voicemail. When a caller leaves a voicemail, you will receive a notification advising you of new messages received. To check your voicemail, pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button, and then press the voicemail button. Enter your PIN to access your voicemail box where you can listen to your voicemail messages or edit your outgoing greetings from the automated voice menu. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.